Shalom. Call Halal, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwath, that be you, brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami Camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. This lesson is going to be entitled Use Discernment and Stay in the Spirit. Okay, once again, the title for the lesson is Use Discernment and Stay in the Spirit. And to Wadi Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai for giving me the spirit, all right, to do this lesson, all right, and this lesson is um, all of the spirit, but um, the Lord blessed me with a title, and uh, I got some precepts in mind um, to bring it out, um, bring out this lesson, and Lord willing, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified, so I'm going to start here in the book of Matthew, uh, the 10th chapter, on the 16th verse, you know, something the Lord said, okay, um, you know, out in this, um, this world here, the scriptures say, the, uh, "Love not the world." All right. Now we 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 in this world, but we're not of the world. Okay. We just um, the scriptures say to use use the world, but not us use the world. Apostle Paul. All right. We just get in and we get out. All right. But we have to know how to operate. All right. To the spirit. Okay. Um, when we're out and about. All right. And we're moving around. Okay. Um, Scriptures tell you how a prudent man uh, foresee the evil and hide th and hide himself. Okay, so in your going about, you know, the scriptures tell you how to be circumspect. Okay, uh, looking around, roughly paraphrasing um, Ephesians, the, the fifth chapter, the fifteenth verse, being circumspect. All right, because uh, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. We're living in evil times and bad times. So you got to be able to discern between good and bad, okay? You got to walk in the spirit, all right? And what the Lord told us right here in the book of Matthew, uh, the 10th chapter and the 16th verse, it says, Behold, look, Lord saying, look, I send you forth as sheep, all right? A sheep is an animal that's the, it doesn't really have a defense mechanism, all right? So a sheep have to be wise, all right? It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep, in the midst of wolves, so everything that's around you could could possibly harm you as, as, a, as a sheep, okay? Because you don't really have that defense mechanism other than your shepherd, which is our Lord. So you got to take heed, uh, be obedient to the shepherd, which is our Lord, Yahweh, and the Lord is saying, Behold, I sent you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as dove. All right? So... Um, yeah, you got to use discernment, man. All right, apply the scriptures. All right, um, stay in the spirit. All right, so when you amount, I mean, out and about, all right, as the scripture speaks about the embattlements of the city, all right, you would know how to navigate through the spirit, you know. So, as the scriptures say, let's go to it. So, the Lord told you, He told us, all right how to move about because you go you go you go upon the battlements of the city man this is um ecclesiasticus chapter 9 and verse 13 ecclesiasticus otherwise known as sirach so it says keep thee far from the man that hath power to kill so if you wise you you're gonna keep yourself away from the man that have power to kill that's authority that's why the scriptures say uh what's that matthew uh 5 and 25 Agree with thy adversary quickly while thou art in the way with him. You have to know how to carry yourself. You got to be in the spirit. So you don't make a wrong judgment or move in haste. You see? You got to be wise as serpent and harmless as doves. I'm going to come back to this precept real quick. Let me go to that real quick. Seeing that that comes to mind, I'm going to come right back to that. It is 5 and 25 or 25 and 5. 
Right, Matthew chapter 5, verse 25, it says, Agree with thine adversary quickly. See, the Lord telling you how to handle yourself, so you have to have discernment. Agree with thine adversary quickly whilst thou art in the way with him, least at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Verily I say unto thee, thou shalt by no means come out thence till thou hast paid the uttermost farthing. So if you obey what the Lord is telling you, okay, you could you could you could um, escape having to be arrested or something that uh, of that nature. Okay? Because why? You use wisdom, you use discernment. Okay? And you because the scriptures tell you how what's that Proverbs chapter um 16 and verse 7 um um uh how would scripture go again um when when a man's ways please the lord he make it even his enemies to be at peace with him right so by you exercising all right discernment and walking and being in the, in, in, in the spirit that the lord helps you man by because you applying his scriptures by agreeing with your adversary quickly while you're in the way with him you see so that's an uh, that's an example of um, being in the spirit, because you're using discernment. You ain't just make haste and and, and do something uh, that's gonna put you in a in a tougher position. Because remember the scripture which I attempted to read just now, which we're going back to right now, Ecclesiasticus, all right? Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as a rock, all right? Remember, authority and not just authority, uh, people in general. You know, as the scriptures say, uh, a soft answer turn away wrath, right? But 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 tough words, roughly paraphrasing uh, Proverbs 15 and 1. I could get it real quick too. Let me get that. Baba Kashar, let me get that. Because, you know, griev griev grievous words store up anger, man. So you got to know how to deal. You know, Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 1. It says, a soft answer turneth away wrath. You see? But grievous words store up anger. So the scripture speaks about uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue. All right, you could you could you, you, you could you could have a fire candle. All right, and if you blow the fire, it's gone. It's gone. You just basically fueling it. But if you spit upon it, you could out it. So you see the power of the tongue. You know, it's it could put you in a place where you be uh, comforted or have victory or prevail. Or could it could put you in a place of where you you, you take a L and you lose, or uh, be possibly put to death, you see. So like the scripture say, life and death is in the power of the tongue. So you got to use discernment and stay in the spirit. Okay. Now we could go back and the the, the the spirit helped me to get those scriptures. All right. Now let's get um let's go back to the scripture, uh, Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Iraq chapter nine and verse thirteen. Okay. It says, keep thee far from the man that hath power to kill. So shall thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault. See, don't make haste. Least he take away thy life presently. You see, remember that thou goest in the midst of the snares. Okay, in this world is traps and snares, man. Especially in these times, we are now these some evil times. The scriptures tell you, uh, uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 1, and this know also that, uh, perilous times shall come and this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come meaning dangerous times fierce savage times so it's speaking about right now it says make no fault least he take away thy life presently remember thou goest in the midst of the snare in the midst of snares and that thou walkest upon the embattlements of the city okay so you got to remember that we are we're we walking upon the embattlements of the city so remember what the house I say Okay, I send you out a sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So we have to use the sermon and stay stay in the, in, in the spirit, man. You cannot get carnal, okay? Because this is a spiritual warfare, man. And you know what the scriptures say when you get carnal, okay? This is Romans chapter 8. Real quick, let's go to this. And verse 6, it says, For to be carnally minded is death. It could lead to your death, man, if you make carnal moves. It says, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Right? It says, verse 7, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High. Yahweh. All right? The only father's name is Yahweh. For it is not 
It, said, it says, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High, see? So you got to walk in the Spirit. Okay? The scriptures tell you how, uh, let's get that real quick and then we can move on. Uh, what's that? St. John. St. John chapter 6 and verse 63, right? It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth, meaning to make you alive. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So to the scriptures, right? To the scriptures. Uh, 2 Timothy 3 and verse 14 says, Continue in the things which thou hast learned and known from whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known that the Holy Scriptures is able to make thee wise unto salvation. So we got to apply the scriptures, Okay. We got to, uh, 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 you know, that application of the scriptures. We got to apply it, okay? Use discernment and, and stay in the spirit, man, okay? Because um, it's a spiritual battle, okay? It's a, it's a spiritual battle. Um, and our, our warfare is, 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 is not a carnal warfare, man, okay? Let's get, uh, what's that, Corinthians? Let's go to that real quick. This is our first, second, like a second Corinthians chapter two, like a second Corinthians chapter 10, verse three. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. All right, verse four. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds, okay? Casting down imaginations and every high thought that exalted itself against the knowledge of the Most High, the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and bring it and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach. You see, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. Okay, so we have to uh, stay in the spirit and use that discernment. Okay, because the battle, all right, is a spiritual battle, man. All right, and 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 you you know what the scriptures say in Ephesians. This is the reason why you have to put on the whole armor of the Most High. Let's go. Let's go there. Um, let's get uh, Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Okay, this is Ephesians chapter six. We're gonna jump in here at verse ten. It says, "Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil." Okay. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay, so this is a spiritual warfare. It says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand, to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. So we know this is a spiritual battle, but it's, it's going to come, it's going to become physical. All right, World War Three. That's prophesied. The return of our Lord. That's prophesied. He's coming to subjugate nations, man. And he's going to have crowns upon his head. Okay, because he's going to subjugate these nations. All right, but the Lord said to wait ye upon me. All right, the scripture says, vengeance is mine. I will repay, meaning our Lord. So we are to wait upon the Lord. We are to get carnal. We stand in the spirit, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem El Shai. All right, vengeance is the Lord. He says to wait upon him until the day that he rise up to the prayer. Zephaniah 3 and 8. The Lord said, wait upon him until the day that he rise up to the prey. For his uh, determination is to gather all the nations together and pour his indignation upon him, roughly paraphrasing. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, verse 13, Ephesians 6 and 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able, to, be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt above with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the scriptures, the Bible, right? Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints and the saints of the Israelites. Okay? So, at the end of the day, you got to use discernment, all right? And, and, and walk in the spirit, you know? Um, hopefully, this uh, lesson was um, edifying, okay? With that, 
I'm going to end it there, giving all honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash, that by honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. With that, until the next time, Shalom.